and uh, I think he emphasizes on the right of Iran to have the nuclear technology. This right is not coming from the uh, permission of any specific country. This comes from our membership to uh, the NPT, not last year, not last 10 years, last 38 years of membership to the IAEA. And uh, uh, Dr. Ahmadinejad only raised very strong this essential right of the Iranian nation. آقای احمدی نجات خواستن بگن که موضوع به طور طبیعی الان در جایگاه خودش داره بررسی میشه So Mr. Ahmadi Nejad's statement actually meant that the nuclear issue is now placed where it has to be and it's closed over there ما فکر میکنیم پرونده همه کشورهایی که فعالیت هستهی دارن در آجانس هست we believe that the activities, of, the nuclear activities of all countries active in this area is and should be before the agency. In this respect, the issue is always open, not just on Iran, but on all countries that have nuclear activities. But to say that this issue is closed, یعنی از یک فضای صرفاً سیاسی به یک فضای کاملاً فنی و حقوقی منتقل شده موضوع. means that it has transferred from purely politicized issue into a legal framework تیبی سه سال گذشته امریکا تجربه کرده تحریم رو علیه ایران in the past 28 years the United States has experimented with different forms of embargoes and sanctions against Iran شکوفایی ایران در رشته های مختلف علمی و تولیدات مختلف و ابداعات و ابتکارات و اختراعات مختلف شاید بخشی از دستاورده های ما در مواجهه با این تحریم هاست Perhaps some of our achievements are flour- the flourishing of our scientific production innovative um, um, basically capabilities it was a response to these embargoes and sanctions تحریم به عنوان یک ابزار فشار سیاسی تأثیری بر تصمیمات منطقی ایران نداره. Sanctions as a political tool for exerting pressure is ineffective in making Iran change its basically rational um, policy choices. مسائل عراق بسیار پیچیده است. Iraq situation is very complicated. ما،, ما با همه اخشار مختلف اراق و مقامات اراق مسئولین اراق تماس داریم We are in contact with all groups in Iraq all the authorities in Iraq all the different officials there Just to follow up on that um, a lot of our uh, leading thinkers in this country have said that the, the nation that has been victorious in the US war in Iraq has been Iran that Iran is the winner so I want to ask you, do you feel victorious? And uh, to put it another way, do you feel that Iran's position in, um, in, the, in your part of the world has been strengthened since the U.S. invasion of Iraq? We are interested in seeing everyone victorious. But unfortunately, but unfortunately, U.S. policies in Iraq have failed. And in the meantime, the Iraqi people have endured difficult hardships. The sweetness of the fall of Saddam has become embittered for the Iraqi people. ما هرگز پیروزی خودمون رو در شکست دیگران احساس نمی کنیم و اون رو پیروزی نمی دنیم. We never see our victory in the failure of others. We never regard that as a victory. ما بیش از هر کشور دیگری در منطقه از ثبات و آرامش عراق نفع می بریم. More than any other country in the region, we stand to benefit from stability and security in Iraq. و از ناامنی در عراق ضرر می کنیم. And likewise, harm, get harmed as a result of insecurity there. America is that Iraq The U.S. claims that security in Iraq is to its advantage. 
و هدفش مبارزه با ناامنی است در عراق and puts up a show that its intention is to help fight insecurity in the country. لابد جای از سیاست ها اشتباه بوده که در 4 سال و نیم گذشته به این هدف نرسیدند. این هدف ادعایی نرسیدند. But we must but we must understand that somewhere the policies must have been misguided or or had failed in the past four and a half years in establishing that security.